Hey, what up? It's Talon TSI AWD once again. Um, this is another third stop tutorial. Um, before I get into this, I just want to mention I definitely appreciate everyone hitting me up all the time and asking me questions, but I do have this forum called thirdstop.com, hence the name thirdstop.com and all the titles. And so if you got a lot of questions, it's really best to hit me up there because that's pretty much the side I check every day. You know, I never check my YouTube account. If I see I got some, I might read it, but I really just don't respond. If you try to get my aim, I don't mind chatting on aim. I'm not around all the time. So check out the site if you like it. That's what this is for. I mean, I'm paying for that site pretty much out of my pocket. So, um, you know, I made what? two dollars and sixty six cents since I started the site four months ago so this is definitely not something I'm trying to make money off of I'm just trying to get discussion going so check out the site sorry I had to say that just get it out there so anyways what we're gonna do is sh I'm gonna show you how basically to rewire reason into another program and the only program I have right now on my computer that does this is Pro Tools and I can't show you the Pro Tools side of it because I'm 99% sure it's because of the AO, the ASIO driver which uh, takes pretty much takes over your audio which is great for audio it's not too great for making a video about audio so I'm only going to show you the reason side of it I'm going to explain the Pro Tools side of it though um, you'll just have to listen so anyways I got this song loaded up and you know I'll just play a little bit of it you know I like the melody I like what I got but it's really not where I want to be at sonically I had to play a little bit of my music but you know it's it's definitely where I want to be in terms of everything but Sonic so what I would do normally is go into Pro Tools the reason why is because it's just a lot more logical to mix I do find the plugins to be better and I only use the stock plugins but even so you could do everything in reason but with all the virtual uh, modules or whatever it just sometimes gets to be a little bit too much so you can see I don't use too much in terms of reason stuff I mean I high pass a sample low pass another sample uh, pretty much simple stuff I don't do a lot of processing in reason so that's why I go into Pro Tools so if you just open up Pro Tools and try to rewire Reason, you're only going to get the stereo track. And I'll show you why right now. You run up to this hardware device, which is the critical part of um, rewiring. And at the tab button, you can see there's only two channels coming out of the virtual mixer. So you're only going to get two channels in Reason. So you're going to get the stereo mix. We're just going to disconnect these. So I'm not going to do every single cable, but. I'll just kind of show you what's up. So basically, we're in the read drum. Um, so that's where we're going to start the cabling. You basically, there's two ways to do it. You click on the output jack and hook it up to the input jack. And on the first one, it always comes out stereo for some reason. Move that over to two save you a second and just keep on dragging them up the other way to do it is to basically right click go to hardware interface and go to output and the nice way about doing it this way is it has an asterisk on the ones you've already used so it says output 3 asterisk so you know output 3 is taken so anyways output 4 hardware interface output 5 now 
when I'm up with things that are hooked up to the mixer it doesn't give me that option I have to go back down to the device so with this one audio output hardware interface so I tend to just drag these ones and I'm not really keeping track of channels but you know just drag them drag them drag them simple and I'd say one of the most important parts is just keep track of where your channels are so for example I have would have Pro Tools open I do my drums if I had eight drums I'd make eight mono tracks do my, all my drums make sure they're there then move on to the next thing make sure that's there etc so just keep it organized and that's basically it there's not too much to it besides that you know just make sure you hook everything up to the hardware interface um, and if you want to bypass your effects make sure you do it before you know your effects and reason do it before you do it in um, you know before you hook it up to the hardware interface and so that's pretty much how you do it in reason and so like in Pro Tools or whatever program you're using um, you know like I said I can't show you it but basically once you have a project open just create a track in Pro Tools I suggest an aux track because you can use as many of those as you want but you can't use you know as many instrument tracks so you don't hit your limit if you have a very complex song or if you want to take that song and doing vocals then just go to you know go to the effects go down to instrument it, channel 1 will be mix left channel 2 will be mix right channel 3 will be channel 3 channel 4 will be channel 4 and so on so you know just keep track of everything that's basically it and one of the nice things about rewire versus rendering each track individually is that it saves you a bunch of space on your hard drive when you have a track, you know, lots of my tracks are 15, 16, 17, 18 tracks. You have 18 tracks and 24 bit. Um, that's going to start taking up a lot of hard drive space real quick. So if you're not deleting it, then uh, it's going to take up a lot of space. But with Rewire, you can just save this. So like I go to File, Save As, Sampled, and then I have my Rewire folder and just make sure you change the name to rewired so you don't get them confused and then you have those forever and so anyway